Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Taylor. Today I'll be filming my makeup collection video um, of a 15 year old. I filmed this video a couple months back of when I was 14 and I have a lot more makeup since then. Um, my collection's grown and I have a way different setup. Let's just get straight into this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, I just really guys hope you guys enjoy this video. So first we're gonna start off with my vanity tabletop because, well my vanity in general, because I don't actually keep my makeup over here by my vanity, it's over there, which is like a big inconvenience, but it's the way that makes sense with the way my room is set up. So I'm gonna show you guys my vanity and what's on my vanity real quick. I know the shirt is huge on me, but ignore it. So first, I still have the same vanity from last time. The mirror is different because I found out that the mirror had the way I had the mirror set up last time is actually not the correct way at all. So here's the vanity. It's still the same. I don't know where it's from. I did, however, change out this knob right here. Oh, I'm sorry. These are stains, and I don't want to really clean it right now. So I have this pink mirror. It's the same lighted mirror. I have two extra ones now, but I still use this one. This is... I keep all of my brushes over here. Um, here are face brushes I don't use that often, or like big fluffy brushes I don't use that often. Then I have this one for face masks. This is eye brushes and detailed brushes and like lip brushes and stuff that I don't use very often. These are all from Staples. I don't know where this is from I got it for Christmas, but I know these are the Martha Stewart collection. These are ones that I don't use as often or, you know, I just don't use. These are face brushes I use often. <laughs> They're blue, pink and blue because I did a look the other day. Um, big brushes, small brushes, flat brushes, fluffy brushes, all those type of things. And then here is also my eye and detailed and brushes that I use a lot. A lot of them are crease brushes because I love a good fluffy crease brush for my face. I have a ring light because like I said I filmed these videos and yeah it's it's pretty much the same. Ooh. Right here is from TJ Maxx. It has just blue legs and it's a white fluffy stool. So on the actual opposite side of my room um, we basically just have my bedside cabinet and it looks like this. I also don't know where this is from because it's kind of old. It's my mom's old one. But it has three drawers and I basically store my makeup so in here. So we're going to go and start with the top drawer. Most of my things are in little organizers. So here's what the top drawer looks like. So these are the primers and setting sprays I have. First I have the Pixi Glow Mist. The Smashbox Primer Water. As you guys can see, this is like very loved. It's like halfway full. This is the Elf Brothers Putty Primer. Also very, very loved. Let me show you guys real quick very loved it kind of looks disgusting but i used quite a bit um this clinique little sample moisture surge um the smashbox primerizer the smashbox photo finish the two benefit professionals we have the regular and we also have the hydrating and then we also have the set of bronzers surprisingly this is like my favorite step even though i only have two i have the hula caramel by benefit um obviously i'm not the regular benefit like car i'm not the regular hula shade but this is the color so gorgeous um i also have this bronzer right here this is just a random one i think by the brand beauty creations i'm not sure or beauty concepts um it's like a transitional one i love the shade down here it's really pretty on me so, yeah. foundations. This is actually on sale right The Too Faced Do Foundation Full Coverage in a Warm Sand. It is a little light, but overall, I love the formula. Oh my god, I can't talk right now. This is my favorite foundation. This is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Love this. It's in Classic Tan. This is the Becca Aquiluminous Foundation. I won't be saying the shades any everything, just things that I think fit me really well or, you know. This is too dark, and so is this one. Also, it's cool toned. I used this on a client the other day, though. This is the L'Oreal True Match. Um... Cocoa foundation and this is a Mary Kay medium coverage foundation. Size bronzer. This is another one of my favorite categories. Um, this is concealers. So first I have three smoking mirrors concealers. One is white, one is green. One these are correcting concealers. Um this one's like a beige for dark spots. This one is for redness, and this one I think is for yellow tones. So I love these for editorial looks. I have two Maybelline Instant Age Rewinds, one's in newer packaging, one's in older. This is in the shade caramel. Love this concealer. I have the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan, I think. The Becca Aquiluminous Concealer, Morphe Concealer. The Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in Medium. 
I have this Maybelline Superstay Concealer. And I have this e.l.f. Satin Finish Camo Hydrating Concealer in Deep Chestnut. If you guys can't tell, this is really dark compared to, like, all of these. I also have the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. The MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly, so... So for the powders, this one is the Cody Airspun in translucent, and this in translucent, and this one is the Maybelline Fit Me powder in medium deep. I have highlighters. This is the Too Faced Love Light highlighter in You Light Up My Life. This is the Bebe Champagne Pop highlighter. This is the Anastasia Liquid Glow highlighter in Oyster blushes. Um, this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek blush in Count Me In. This is the Estee Lauder blush. And blush all day. This is in Mac blush, golden rinse. This is in rose marble suede. These are two of my favorites. This one is by far the brightest blush I have. This one is the by the color workshop. This one's a shiny blush. Love this blush for certain looks. This is a milk makeup liquid lip and cheek stick in the shade work. I'm not gonna go in depth in depth about this but i have some real techniques blender some random blenders a morphe sponge and some powder puffs here's the second drawer and here we have eyebrow products eye detailed stuff lip products lipsticks lashes mascara extra stuff for lashes this is actually a white container from walmart but i got bored and spray painted it because i also tried to what is that word Water marble it? I don't know what it's called, but here are eyebrow products. First, I have this LA Colors Brow Powder, which for soap brows works really well. I have two pomades, an e.l.f. Medium Brow Lock On Liner slash Brow Cream, and then the Milani Stay Put Brow in Dark Brown. I have the Essence Make Me Brow Gel, the Essence Micro Precise Brow Gel, um, Brow Pencil. I have two e.l.f. Wax Sticks. I love e.l.f. for eyebrow stuff. I also have the clear gel slash mascara, but I use them both for my brows. I have a Benefit Gimme Brow ma Gel Mascara and then a Ulta Beauty Tinted one. I have an LA, this is a W7 one that's cracked. It's an LA Colors one. I have two glue sticks for drag brows, um, a stencil, a couple spoolies, and then another W7 Bro, my eye detail stuff. I have some gems. I don't normally keep my gems in here, but this one's on like a plaster, so I keep it in here. But my other gems are not in any of my drawers. I have a bunch of liners and random stuff. So I have this Avon one. I have three NYX Vivid Brights liners. Love these. The Morphe liner. I have this one by the Color Workshop. I have another one by the Color Workshop. Um, love these. I have these two Mary Kay ones, love these so much. Two Ulta Beauty ones, another Avon one. These four little glim glimmer sticks, I'm not sure what they're called, but they are a direct dupe of the NYX ones. This Stila Liquid Glittering Glow, this bold one, and then two MAC little pots of gel liners. This one's in Little Black Bow, and this one is Black Track, love these. A sharpener for all these pencils. I have these little liners at the bottom of this drawer specifically because the other drawer has like a cushiony bottom and so I only have it for this drawer and I think another drawer. And here we have detailed stuff in like extras and like, what is this the word called? Tools. So we have two Kiss Lash Gels unopened. This one's like magnetic eyeliner for Kiss, even though I don't have magnetic lashes. This one's a strip lash adhesive. This is my favorite lash glue, super great. Um, I have one that's already opened with aloe. I'm not sure if that one has aloe, but it's fine. I have a hair glue because a lot of my friends prefer this or like clients, so I have it and I used to try and use it, but it didn't work. I have two eyelash curlers, a little a pair of LA Colors tweezers, and a little mini just lash glue. The categories and biggest categories is mascaras. It's better than sex mascara. The L'Oreal Paris, don't know. The Color Workshop Mascara, a Mary Kay Mascara, a Maybelline Great Lash, Too Faced Damn Girl, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, Maybelline Total Temptation, 
one of my favorites banger this one the damn girl and then this one the benefit benefit bad gal bang mascara i love this mascara and then the tarte big ego mascara and here we have a bunch of lip products um i don't i'm not gonna go through these super in depth did it just because i don't wear the products that often but i have a couple victoria's secret lip glosses and elf lip gloss um these liquid lipsticks by covergirl these liquid lipsticks by w7 a bunch of random lip glosses an ulta beauty lip gloss mary Kay. i see my clear lip gloss by la colors the best one out there um, this Katy Perry one collab with CoverGirl. It's a blue one. I have a couple of Kat Von D samples, some Carmex, some random Shawnee lip glosses, um, more W7, Elf, you know, this lip liner, a random Tarte one. I just have a bunch of random lip products. So here are the three Carmex and all the lip glosses and chapsticks. Here we have just this CoverGirl lipstick, this Mary Kay lipstick, what is this? A Forever 21 lipstick, another CoverGirl, an Avon one, a Buxom one, a Iris Colors, and a Ulta Beauty one. And then over here are lashes. I can't, I suck at keeping up with lashes. Um, it's always these big ones too. So I got these ones because they'll, because I lost Brazari. Bazaar were one of my favorites, but now they're white, and they were green at one point because I like to use these for my editorial looks since I only have one. I use these little black dress lashes. These are my favorites. I have a bunch of random lashes and a bunch of, like, cut lashes for my under eyes. I have a bunch of colored lashes. These are just basically cheap lashes that I won't actually use. However, in editorial looks and stuff, I'm going to use them. I have some other really cheap lashes that I can do the same with, just dye them. Then I have my Kiss natural lashes and haven't actually worn them but you know they're nice this last drawer i'm telling you guys now i'm not going to be super in depth with, this, with just because of the fact that i'm going to film a, a video right after this one and it should be uploaded a couple days after this one of a eyeshadow palette collection but here's the drawer i'm just going to speed through them point out a couple but not every single one so in here i have a couple elf girl ones ellie girl ones and Alyssa edwards one a morphe one an elf Too Faced, and this is by the brand afu i have a couple blenders that aren't open yet i've morphe glossy ulta beauty anastasia beauty treats the bomb cella douche moods bedhead and oh laura sanchez moods bedhead anastasia profusion wet and wild elf ipsy x tetris color workshop the balm i feel like i'm missing one maybe maybe i'm not so these are my palettes i'm not gonna go super in depth with them like i said i want to film a separate video for these so you'll see that soon i'm so I had so much fun filming this video, except I'm super out of breath now. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, let's let's just be positive. If you have any questions or about shades or about anything that you see in the video, how I feel about them, um, I'll reply to your comment. Uh, um, I hope you guys enjoyed my makeup collection. Let me know what product in my makeup collection that you've tried or that you want to try. Um,